Hi guys, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, bringing you another video in which I speak extremely monotone and unbox something that you probably don't care about. Recently I've noticed an influx of comments complaining about my monotone voice, and I've addressed this in the past. I am a very boring person. I do not put on an act or a persona for these videos. When you see me unbox something, you are literally watching me unbox something. If you guys aren't here to see the product and hear my thoughts on it and are really just bothered by my voice, might I suggest a small list of YouTubers that I put together for you with way more enthusiasm than me. PewDiePie, Markiplier, literally just scream into a microphone. <coughs> it would be like an all-you-can-hear buffet for you guys. Philip DeFranco is a great YouTuber whose entire videos are him speaking, and he has a lot of enthusiasm in his voice. Sup, you beautiful bastards? Hope you having a fantastic Tuesday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. Danny Duncan speaks in a high-pitched voice sometimes. Oh, my pussy! And there's a really great fish tank channel that I'm a fan of called Dustin's Fish Tanks. What's up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you and you and you and you and you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing fabulous. I hope that short list helps you guys find some new YouTubers to listen to. In the meantime, I'm gonna do what my channel's about and unbox some cool shit. I'm sorry if my voice ruins this video for you. So what we've got here is another box from my buddy the Mask Hunter. You guys should probably be pretty familiar with him by now because a lot of my Buckethead videos are related to the Mask Hunter. He's either sent something in or given me some information or something along those lines. So as I pull these items out, prepare yourself for a very long story. So what we've got here is a 1997 Kentucky Fried Chicken Bucket. Buckethead wore this at one show in Japan in 1999. Buckethead goes the fuck off at this show. He is so happy to be in Japan and it really shows. And the fact that he wore this bucket one time in Japan for that show is pretty fucking rad to me. So when I saw this, I knew that I had to track it down. Luckily for me, one popped up on eBay and it was a very cheap starting bid. And I figured who the fuck else is gonna want this? I'm gonna go ahead and put my bid on it. So I did. Well, that was followed by another couple bids that didn't quite outbid me. So I knew that someone out there was going to want this thing, but probably not as bad as I did. So I kept my eye on this auction until the very last day. A couple hours prior to the auction ending, I noticed that I had been outbid. The bid was now above $50. So I let it sit until about the last hour of the auction. I then placed a $100 bid on the bucket. Not exactly what I was hoping to spend, but whatever. Well then, wouldn't you know it, it gets bid up again. So I said, fuck it, and I bid $255, thinking there is no way someone else out there is gonna drop $255 on a 1997 KFC bucket. Well, guess what? Someone did, and I gave up. I said, I'm out, 255 was my max, I'm not doing it, another one will pop up. Another one has to pop up someday, and I've waited this long, so it's not a big deal. In the meantime, I'm talking to my buddy Buddy, the mask hunter and I'm letting him know what's going on and we're just rolling because there's no way that this is serious and he mentioned something about selling his for $150 and I said hey if you're serious I'd love to take you up on that offer and he said fuck yeah so we exchanged information I got him paid up and now I own this bucket whoever had bid me up on that bucket retracted their bid and I was now the current highest bidder at $200 or something like that and I said fuck you and I retracted my bid at the very very last second so they ended up winning and not paying. So I don't know who that was, but cool, super cool of you. That's awesome. And now the bucket is being relisted. On top of all that, the mask hunter actually sent me $50 back, so I only paid 100 bucks, which is 150 less than I expected to pay. So I'm pretty fucking happy. I mean, I did spend $100 on a KFC bucket, but when you're a collector, you do stupid things. And I feel like this is an investment because I could toss this back up on eBay at any given point and make my money back. Although I'm not going to because I really want this bucket and I'm definitely happy to have it. So shout out to the mask hunter and shout out to my secret eBay friend. On top of this bucket here, he also sent one of these 90s Star Wars buckets and you can tell that it's 90s because it has the 90s logo right there which looks like the actual 90s KFC buckets back then. And inside, we've got yet another giant robot minifigure. These things make great little shelf filler pieces in my bucket headset, so I'm stoked to have that as well. It's just a nice little haul. Pretty stoked about this box. So yeah, like I said, this is definitely like a grail bucket for me. Uh, I love that fucking Japan show. Buckethead is just so happy to be in Japan, and you can really tell by the way that he's performing on stage. And I'm not real sure why this is the bucket that he chose to wear there and not ever again. Not that I've ever seen anyways. 
definitely been looking for more footage or photos of him wearing that and I just can't find him. I'm not a Star Wars fan by any means, but uh, Buckethead is and apparently KFC did a deal with them back in the day and had some Star Wars buckets. So just another cool shelf filler piece would not surprise me at all if Buckethead actually did have this because like I said, he is a Star Wars fan and it is a KFC bucket. So once again, massive shout out to the Mask Hunter for hooking me up. I'm gonna go ahead and show these things off. That'll be today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and we will see you later.